Hey guys, in my previous tutorial I showed you how to make items spin and this is going to be incorporating some similar features and it's just going to have the same objects so I've still got the um, the sort of coin here and I've got a uh, first place control and directional light and what I want to do is actually so when you've got this item spinning you can actually pick it up like you would in say Sonic the Hedgehog and then you could make a GUI or something to s collect points so you can collect objects as you go around your game so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna choose this ring here and it hasn't got an actual collider on it so what I'm gonna do is add a component physics box collider and with the box collider on I'm gonna just scale up the element so when I get inside this collider we're gonna pick it up or destroy it and if we tag it as is trigger that means that when we go near that trigger and inside it with the correct script it'll change so if we create a new JavaScript and we call this object destroy and then we're gonna open up this in on develop and what we want to do is we want to actually get rid of these two lines and we want to write function on trigger enter open brackets other colon and then write collider and then two curly bracket then we want to write if if open brackets other dot tag is equals equals to player then we'll actually do another two curly brackets and say destroy with a capital open brackets game object but you need to make sure that that in the game object that G is a lowercase so what happens if we actually put this script object destroy on our object now we'll start the scene we'll see the coin spinning when we go towards it you'll see that we collected it and now it's disappeared and you'll notice that it's disappeared out of my hierarchy which means um, essentially you've destroyed it and um, what we can do from here now is actually add an audio effect which when we actually pick up the coin it makes a sound so simply what we're going to do so what we're going to do in our object destroy script is add a new variable and call that coin sound and we're going to set that to as type audio clip with a semicolon and what we want to do in this um, in these curly brackets we want to write audio dot play one shot and then we want the name of our sound which is coin sound close bracket semicolon now if we actually ran this and did it all together the audio wouldn't play because straight after it decides to play the object gets destroyed so it doesn't understand what to do so we we'll want to yield wait for seconds and then what we could do is wait for 0.4 seconds something like that and then it gives the the actual sound chance to play uh, but then destroy the object after so make sure that's refreshed click back on the object we need to add a sound so there's my coin sound and now when we walk into our object you heard the sound it waited less than a second and then got destroyed so that's pretty much it. That shows you how to destroy an object, add a little bit of a sound before it gets destroyed if you wanted that. So thanks very much. And if you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.